Okay, in this video, we will be demonstrating the EP5 PTI-19 pulse tool and the best practice to set it up for your joint. Now, if you're using multiple joints with different characteristics, then you can set it to auto trim. But if you're using one joint that's a hard joint, as we're doing here, you should set the tool to trim, not auto trim. You should only be using auto trim if you have multiple different joints. The way to set it, the way to set the trim, the auto trim to trim, is you would use a two and a half millimeter Allen and rotate it clockwise till it stops. To get it to auto trim you would go to a counterclockwise till it's flush with the casing. So we're going to set it to trim so we want to go clockwise all the way until it stops. Now the tool is set into trim. Next we will want to be setting the trim now the way I like to start the trim is with maximum RPM. Now what I'll do is I'll pull the trigger and rotate the trim valve a three millimeter on the inside until I get the maximum RPM. You can hear it slowing down. I'll back it all the way out. Till it stops. Back it all the way until it stops so we get the maximum RPM. And you can hear the RPM. That's the way I like to start. So what else we have is the STA 6000 and a transducer we will put in line to find out what the torque the tool is putting on the joint and what the pulses are. So I'll connect it now and do a couple of rundowns. Now, under this situation, what I like to do is take a, a wrench and release the joint I'm working on with a wrench and not hammering the tool in forward, reverse, forward, reverse, forward, reverse. So the joint is loose. The tool is set to clockwise. The, the STA 6000 is set for torque and pulses. It's going to read both. I'll just put it on the joint. See if I can get this in a way that we could see both. This way? How about that way? So what we have 22.45 newton meters and 23 pulses. So it's a 19 newton meter tool, so this tool is set up for the maximum. So if we want less of a torque, which obviously we do here. We would open up the screw on the side, rotate the screw counterclockwise with the proper tool that comes with the tool, the proper screwdriver. This screwdriver is the only one you would want to loosen this screw. So there's a cover here first. We'll take off the cover and we'll rotate the adjustment screw counterclockwise. So we have adjusted the torque down to see where we are. We're going to do a rundown. An important thing to note is static and dynamic pressure. Static pressure would be what your regulator says when the tool is in the static position. When you pull the trigger, you should have 90 PSI on the regulator. Another thing to note is a pulse tool well suited for your application should reach the target torque with a shutoff within 5 to 20 pulses. Now we'll take another rundown and take a look. So 
So here we have eight pulses and we have 16.86 Newton meters. which is acceptable. Okay, so what we did here is we rotated the trim valve in the minus direction to add more trim, minus direction to add more trim, to release exhaust from the tool, to allow the tool to pulse more. So you can see we, we went from eight pulses to 15 pulses and you can hear the tool release pr air pressure that's 11 we can continuously rotate it in the minus position to increase the amount of pulses that the tool does you can see there we went too far because it doesn't shut off so we'll go back the other way into the plus Now we're at 12. So that's the, optima, the optimum amount of pulses for this torque, which is 18 newton meters, 12 pulses.